The book of Job is one of my favorites. It taught me no matter how much is taken away from me, I can still have faith and hope. Job was a man with faith in God. He led a good life. Satan thought that Job would stray from his faith if God removed the things in his life that he loved, including his children, all of his belongings, and his health. God gave Satan permission to test the faith of Job. Satan removed everything from Job, but did not walk away from God. Instead, he said in Job 13, 15, Though he slay me, yet will I hope in him. Who of us could have faith and trust in, God, in the Lord in the worst times of our life? We question God's goodness and faithfulness when in a hard season of life. Though our struggles with losses, illnesses, plans, and hopes are dashed, take a look of Job. He had lost all of his children, his wealth, and his health. His friends were no of, were of no help. His wife offered no support. He left all alone. He thought his life was over. Why didn't Job give up hope? He didn't give up because he knew God entrusted him. He knew that whatever he was going through, that God could have stopped it, but instead allowed it for his boy. He was a man who did not see himself above others and knew that God is sovereign and can do all things to and for him, which include the good and the bad. He knew that God loved him and he had a purpose for all that he allowed him him experience. He realized his pain. God would provide a way to get through it. The suffering of this life is temporary and will not last forever. After this life, there is an eternal life with God in heaven. He may not have understood what was happening to him and why behind it, but he knew that God always loving and trustworthy. The lesson from the story of Job is that we too can trust God when life appears to be over. When we know beyond our circumstances and human expectations that God has a bigger plan for our lives that we cannot see or understand. Through hard times, we can be softened with hope and peace. Instead of seeking to defend ourselves before God, Job experience showed us we can keep going through this life when it gets hard and our pain has a purpose. God has a plan for us. Dear Sadie, it's absolutely impossible for mom and me to believe that you were out of high school and headed to college. It seems like just yesterday that we arrived at the airport from Russia to a terminal full of your GSPC family there to greet you. What a celebration it was then and what a celebration has continued for the last 18 years. There have been some amazing highs as well as some tough times, but you have come through them all with your resilient spirit intact. You inspire us as well as others every single day. I wish that, that I could count the number of times that someone has made the comment that you are so wise beyond your years. You have an amazing way of finding just the right words or just the right photograph, and you know how to put them together in a way that speaks to the hearts of everyone. 
your vulnerability shows through your words, and because of that, you touch people. I pray that you will never lose that ability or desire. You're about to embark on the next great adventure of life as you head to Auburn later this summer. It's one of the most exciting times of your life, but it comes at a time when there's so much uncertainty in the world. As you prepare to leave, the most important things that we can say to you are to stay true to your values as they will never lead you astray. Stay close to your friends as they will accompany you on life's journey. And stay safe in the knowledge that your family loves you and will always be there for you. Most importantly, never forget that God is in control. For God will be the constant in your life. God will never forsake you. And God will watch over you always. We love you.